Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am back in the kitchen today and I am going to attempt to make something that I have never made before. But they look so delicious on YouTube and they're called Hasselback Potatoes. Um, so I was Googling it and trying to find out the origin of it and apparently uh, they were made by a hotel in Sweden, the Hasselbacken Hotel. So let's get busy and give this a shot. So first we want to take, um, I'm going to do three potatoes, but you do have a many you need for your family. And you just kind of cut the, the back off a little bit just to, um, you know, make them so that they will lay flat. Take a little bit off the back. And don't throw this away because we're going to um, cook these also. Okay, so that's laying pretty flat. Now you'll have to get a couple of spoons or something to go on each side because we're going to make little tiny slices in the potatoes and you don't want to slice all the way through because it needs to be intact on the bottom. So like I said, this is my first time to attempt this. Y'all know I kind of use you as guinea pigs. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So we just want to slice them very thin, but not all the way through. Um, Y'all remember my friend Colette that I used to go eat um, Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner with. Um, she would make them with sweet potatoes, and uh, she would put a, a sweet mixture in them. But for these, we're going to put uh, salt and pepper, herbs and butter. So I think that's got it. Okay, so next, um, the recipe that I followed said to sprinkle it with salt and pepper and then rub some olive oil onto the skin. So let's do that, a little salt and pepper. I think my pepper shaker is almost empty. So what we want to do is bake them at 425 degrees for 20 minutes and then we're going to make a butter sauce to go on top of them with the uh, the herbs de Provence. Okay so let me go get the I'm going to do three all together let me do the other two pop them in the oven and I'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay so while we're waiting for the first 20 minutes to bake of the potatoes we're going to go ahead and make our butter sauce. So I'm using three-fourths of a stick of butter. Of course, if you have more than three potatoes like I do, you may need an entire stick. And then I have four cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Let's go ahead and get this butter melted. And then to this, we're going to add salt and pepper, paprika, and my secret ingredient. And then we have a couple of herbs. Now, if you have rosemary, go ahead and use um, the rosemary and thyme. But, um... I used up all my rosemary, so what I did, I just crushed a bay leaf, and then I do have some thyme. So I'm going to blend all of this in with the butter also and make my herbs de Provence, or something similar to it. <laughs> some kind of um, herbs with some fancy French name. Okay, so the butter is melting very well, so I'm just going to add my salt and pepper. You just use your own judgment, however you and your family like it. And just a little dash of paprika. Tiny bit of salt, not too much because I did salt the potatoes already. And then my secret ingredient, just a, just a couple of dashes. Okay. And then you go ahead and add in my garlic and let it kind of cook and tenderize just a minute. The potatoes have almost finished cooking their first 20 minutes. What we'll do is baste the potatoes with this mixture, put them back in the oven, and then about every 15 minutes continue to baste uh, while they're cooking. But I do want this garlic to cook down just a hair. So this is what your mixture is going to look like. Let me go ahead and turn the burner off. We don't need it to cook anymore. And the potatoes have about six more minutes. Okay, so they have finished the pre-cooking, which was 20 minutes at 425 degrees. Now we will uh, brush them with the butter mixture. First, I'm going to add the herbs to the butter mixture. That's my bay leaf, and this is my thyme. Or you can just 
you know, coat it with the butter mixture and then sprinkle it onto, uh, onto the potatoes, but I just rather have everything all mixed up here together. So this is what the mixture looks like with the garlic, the butter, and the herbs. So you just want to brush the tops with this mixture. And we're going to do this um, every 15 minutes until they're done. There will be a little different procedure during the last 15 minutes, and I will uh, be showing that to you guys. Oops, that's a big gob of garlic. Get back on there. And I spread that out a little bit. I definitely want the garlic flavor in these potatoes. Okay, so I'm also going to brush the little skins here. They will be ready to eat very quickly. Get some garlic on them too. Okay, so now they're going to go back in the 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. And I will be back. Okay, so this will be the third time that I have basted these. And I believe the little potato skins are done, so I'm going to remove those. And I will be snacking on those in just a minute. But for this step, we're going to take a knife and open up the little the slits in the potatoes a little bit so that we can make sure we get the garlic and the butter and those herbs down there in that little slit. Go through and open them up a little bit. I will pause you while I do this because it's going to take a while. So let me go ahead and brush them again. This may be the last time that I have to baste them. Uh, let's see, this will be, let's see, it was 20 minutes and then two 15 minute segments. So that's what, 50 minutes, yeah. Make sure I get the garlic in there. There's plenty of butter down here in the dish too that I can use. That I think I'll take a spoon and Sure, I'll get some of this delicious butter. Good and buttery potatoes, huh? Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna bake these 20 minutes, I think, and then they should be done, and I will be back then. Okay, so let me go ahead and taste one of these potato skins. Mmm, they smell so good. They remind me of TGI Fridays and those baked um, potato skins that they have. Mmm. Mmm. These are so delicious. I'll be back when the potatoes are ready to come out of the oven. Okay, the buzzer is going off. That means the Hasselback potatoes are ready. Oh, I am so dying to bite into it. I've never had these before. I did have the sweet potato ones that my friend Colette made. I, I forgot what she called those, but they weren't the same, I don't think, as the Hasselback potatoes. Okay, guys. Here they are. Don't they look delicious? Okay. Let me put one of these on a plate. I don't want to break it apart. Come on. Oh yeah, it's coming off very nicely. Oh, oh, doesn't it look good? Look at the bottom of it either. Even how brown and crispy it is. Okay. <clears throat> Decorate it very beautifully with a piece of thyme. Let me get my fork and a knife, and I kind of want to cut into the middle of it. <laughs> it's good and tender. I know that, and it's very hot also. Oh, yeah. It's going to have that nice, crispy crust on the bottom. Mm -mm, that's going to be so good. Okay. Okay, I've been blowing on this Hasselback potato. Hopefully it's cool enough I can bite into it. Let's give these Hasselback potatoes a taste. 
Mmm, they smell so good. I can smell the thyme and the bay leaf and the garlic and the butter. Oh, it just smells so good. I don't think they're smoking anymore, so let me give it a taste test. Mmm. They're good, but when I took the knife and opened up the slits, I should have added some salt to it because down in the potato is not salty enough. Um, just like if you have a baked potato at home, you cut it up and you're going to put salt and pepper, you know, inside the potato itself. So make sure if you cook it to add in that step to add a little salt to it. On the last basting uh, after you cut up in the little slits. So I hope you'll try. Let me know if you do and let me know what you think about it. Y'all please give me a thumbs up and share my videos. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. You will be loved and accepted here. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye guys.